Hi, and welcome to our video tutorials. Today we would like to show you how to create and sell packages of services in Amelia. It's one of our newer features and uh, it allows you to create a pack of different appointments and appointments can be of the same service or different services. Uh, this is very convenient for many businesses and we would like to show you today how to create uh, packages and uh, what you need to do uh, for, in order to sell uh, packages successfully. Uh, in the other video that we plan to publish a little bit later, we will show you how your customers can book packages from the front end page of the, our website and also how they can book a remaining appointments from customer panel. Alexander will show us how to create packages. Thank you, Nevena. Um, one more thing to mention is that packages are included only in pro and developer licenses. So if you have a basic license, you won't have packages. Um, packages are in the services um, window. So first thing you need to, to uh, have are services and employees. Um, we don't have any packages created yet, so we'll create one. Let's name it test package and set its duration to be one month. Um, if your general settings are configured so appointments can be booked one year ahead, your customers will be able to book all those appointments uh, within the next year, but they have only one month to do that when they purchase the package. So if you purchase the package today, you have 30 days to book uh, appointments from that package. Um, you can add a description here um, and then we go to add services. We'll add all three services here and we'll configure them. So for this second service, we'll set the number of appointments to five and we will allow our customers to skip the uh, these appointments when they're purchasing the package. So when you set the minimum and maximum bookings required to zero, they don't actually need to book an appointment right away. They can book it later from the customer's panel. Um, in here, we add the employees and move to the next service. So for this service, we'll set the number of appointments to 10. Minimum bookings required and maximum bookings required will stay at one. We'll select both employees again. And for the third service, we'll set the number to, let's say seven set the minimum bookings required to one and maximum bookings required to uh, two. We'll only choose the, the first employee. Okay, so if uh, someone wa doesn't want uh, cus their customers to book appointments through panel, they can just uh, select their all appointments from the service so they can uh, book all the appointments at the moment of uh, purchasing the package. That's right. If the maximum bookings required is the same as the number of appointments, uh, they need to book all services, uh, all appointments at once. Um, next tab is the price. You can have the calculated price of all your services or you can define a custom price. For example, if you want to provide a discount, let's say 50%, and it's automatically calculated here. In the gallery, you can add any images, and in settings, you can configure payments. At the moment, we only have on-site, but if you enable PayPal or Stripe, they would be listed below. Okay, so at the moment of purchasing uh, the package, customers can actually pay everything if you enable online payments. That's right. So we save the package and that's pretty much it. Um, we can use the current booking uh, page where you can see everything. So all services and packages, they're not listed here, but if you select a service, you will see that this service is also available in a package and where you save 50%. Yeah, so very convenient for upselling. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we can, however, create a pa page specifically for packages. So if we add a new page and add Amelia booking view, for example, we can pre-select the booking parameters and show only packages. So when we publish this and visit the page in a private window, here you can see the details of the package. 
Since we only have one package, we only see that one, but if we had more, they would be listed here. So as a customer, we now continue and choose an employee. Now we can select the date and time for the seconds. This is actually the name of the service, but mm -hmm. um, you can select the appointment and click to go to the next service. The test service requires one appointment to be booked. So, and the maximum is also set to one. So we cannot add more appointments right away. When we click on next service, we get to the third service, which requires minimum one and maximum two appointments, if I remember correctly. So in here, let's book two appointments and you can see there's no add appointment here. So maximum is set to two and we can continue. On the last page, you can, this is actually next to last, you can see the details of uh, booked appointments. So second service uh, appointment, test service appointment and third services appointment appointments are listed here. On the last page, the customer enters their details. So Amelia test. This is an actual email address so we can receive the uh, notification. Click on confirm and that's pretty much it. Okay, you purchased your first package. That's it. Um, in my email inbox, I received uh, the notification. It says, dear, this is the customer's name. You booked a test package and you can book remaining appointments from this package in the customer panel. This is all configured in Amelia notifications where under package purchased template, the customer panel is actually a hyperlink where only the customer panel URL placeholder mm -hmm. is added. Um, for all other appointments that you book within this package, you need to configure the placeholder here mm -hmm. and include this placeholder in your appointment approved pending uh, email notifications. Okay. That's pretty much it. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you guys and see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Bye-bye.